stop trying to shift the weight in your golf swing. It is screwing you up. And I'm gonna show you why and what to do instead. Now, how on earth can shifting your weight be a bad thing? Well, the problem is, like turn your shoulders, it is something that is misunderstood and misapplied because weight shift is something that we don't really want to do. There's loads of things that are in the golf instruction world that are perhaps accurate, but misplaced or taken to degrees that are just not applicable to recreational golfers or too many golfers. You have to be aware of these things because if you start going down a rabbit hole of a certain thing, it's gonna make life a lot harder. Now, before I get bashed with things like, is this stack and tilt? Of course you have to shift your weight in the golf swing. Yes and no. You have to shift pressure. And that's what I want you to start thinking about. It is not so much about shifting the weight, it's about pressure shifting. So what happens more often than not, when people think of weight, they think of mass. And shifting that mass often results in moving away from the ball, like loading up the right side. You've probably heard these buzzwords. You've got to load up the right side to be able to, you know, shift the weight back. So it goes this way and it goes that way, okay? There is truth to that. But if you think that the weight shift is your mass, that mass starts to move off the ball here, okay? And it's like, yeah, I've shifted my weight onto my right side and now I've got to shift it back. And it's not necessarily swaying, but it's this unnecessary movement that doesn't do any good whatsoever. And that's what we're trying to do a lot of the time is just minimize unnecessary movement, but keep flow and natural sequences and feelings. That's it. That's all you're trying to do with your golf swing, especially if you want to have consistency and still get good speed and play this game for a long time and have fun, which I think you do. So if weight shift isn't the way we want to do it, we want to think about pressure shifting and the pressure is in these bad boys in the feet. Okay. We want to start to feel that we are moving pressure into the trail leg without moving the mass. Okay. And that can happen with a, basically your footwork. But one of the main visuals that I want you to have is a line all the way down through my body here. Okay. And that line is going to stay constant through my sternum. Now I'm going to try and feel like I'm applying pressure into the ground to my trail foot here because I move the club back, I apply pressure, I use momentum this way, I apply pressure, but I am not moving my mass away from the ball, okay? I can still lift my front foot up, but my mass is still centered because from here I can leverage and move my weight back, use the pressure in the front foot and sling the club through. Whilst keeping that consistency, that isn't moving my weight this way. So we're achieving the thing that we want to achieve when you think about weight shift, but we're doing it in a much more realistic, consistent manner because we're reducing those variables. A wonderful drill you can actually do is get a mirror and just a piece of tape and imagine swinging around that line. And I've got a really good video coming up about how to visualize this perfectly, but you have to wait for that video next time, but keep an eye out. So we can practice this whilst trying to stay centered and using momentum in your feet. So we're gonna raise the heels up to practice a swing to apply pressure that's going to swing that club through. But notice I'm staying centered. I haven't shifted my weight. I've just shifted the pressure. I'm using the ground. And even if you're old and not agile, you can still do this a little bit and just feel the movement in your feet. As I move back, as I start to take the club back, I apply pressure into the foot here, into the inside of my foot. I apply pressure here. And then as I move back forward, I take the pressure off the trail foot and I start applying it to the front foot. So I take the club back 
I apply pressure into here. I feel myself winding up. And now, before I've completed my backswing, I am applying pressure into the front foot and using the ground there. But whilst I'm doing that movement, as I'm taking the club back, I'm staying centered. The pressure is being felt on the inside here. I've got the pressure inside the leg here. That's what's loaded. I'm not loaded up this way, okay? Not at all. And I'm not trying to load my weight all over the front, like my mass over the ball. I'm just using the pressure to be able to release through. That's it. So start thinking about it differently and start picturing it differently. Shifting my weight is not the feeling. It is the pressure shift, pressure into the feet, maintaining the balance in the center and swing around that point. It's going to give you effortless power and consistency. So that's it my friends, give that a try. Start feeling differently and not moving off the ball, okay? Stay centered, apply the pressure to the feet and let me know how you get on. See you next time.